feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Every single one of y'all out there during these holidays, make sure y'all stay safe out there. You dig? So I want to um, get into the topic at hand today. You know, it's some top picks, but we'll talk about them all in one. So Rum Nitty has responded to. All of the people talking, you know, he hears the people talking or basically criticizing him taking a battle with Don Marino. He's only, people have been talking about Rum Nitty like he's been out for this exuberant amount of time. He's only been out since October, two months. I know it's been a couple of events since then, but, you know, he battled C3 October 17th. You got November, December. It's literally two months. Um, and he'll be battling against Don Marino on the super fight card, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been saying, Rum Nitty, why are you taking Don Marino? Rum Nitty will battle anybody. Rum Nitty will battle my other chair over there if you ask him to. But he did have some things to say about people's concerns. He said, I know y'all want to see me versus better opponents, but the cat and mouse game is for weird niggas, 100. And I would be a mother effing fool not to get the same types bags for lesser opponents. I'm not turning down a bag for you scary ass niggas. This might be my last year too, so enjoy now. Punch, line, go. You know, you got a punch and a goat, so it's a punch, line, go. Um, I, don't, I don't subscribe too much to the this may be my last year notion because people say that every year. Arsenal's been retiring for the last five years. He's not retired yet. He's actually getting better. Uh, other MCs have retired over and over and over, and it just doesn't happen. Like in battle rap, you, you, you're only good as your last bag. So as long as that bag is still coming in, niggas ain't retiring. Like, it, it ain't going to happen. When is a, a blogger, like, yo, I'm retired. No. That money's still coming in. That monetization, that views, they're not going, they not going nowhere. It ain't going to happen, especially once the artist... Or the person has a um, built fan base. And like I said, a lot of people have had a lot to say about this. About this battle in particular. You know, because folks were saying, well, if he was going to battle a rookie, he should have battled Fonz. Fonz is outside. Fonz, Fonz, Fonz. Fonz has been getting a lot of acclaim because when you watch him, you get the feeling that he's going to be around for a while. He's going to be he's going to be pressure for people to deal with. He's not going nowhere and you're going to have to deal with that type of pressure. Av, who is a punchline god, went toe to toe with Fonz. You know, I had Av winning a dope battle, but that doesn't mean that Fonz didn't win as far as his stock and his career is concerned. So, when you look at that, people are saying, "Why Don Marino? Why Don Marino?" I seen somebody say he wanted Rum Nitty wanted Hollow to Don, but he got Marino to Don. Like, what is he doing the URL for him to have to take these kind of battles? But he just said some of the MCs and the opponents that he wants to battle are being scary or not wanting to come outside or giving him the runaround. Is he not going to get paid? If you can't get paid on the earthless, big, you're worthless, kid. You don't even deserve to live. That's that old camera on losing weight. But, uh, yeah, he's, so is he not going to battle? He's got to battle. So he might as well just uh, take someone. So, but I do understand the sentiment of people's thoughts like why the hell is Rum Nitty taking him I put up a poll today that said uh I just asked I wanted to see where, where we at with this you know what I'm saying because I, I talked to my own um, you know 20 something thousand Twitter followers on a daily basis about a multitude of things whether it's sports fucking Nets lost to the Hornets we'll talk about that shit later <sighs> um whether it's sports, life, different things like that, battle rap, you know. And I asked, I said, uh, what I said, I said what I said. I said, who wins asking for Showtime SP? You know, I think it's like asking for a friend. I'm asking for my friend. Rum Nitty, Don Marino, or Delete This Shit Now? Rum Nitty, 50%. The other 46% went to Delete This Shit Now, and 4%. Went to Don Marino. Um, unfortunately, Don Marino, in this regards, pretty much everybody, a lot of the fans, a lot of the people in the polls and shit like that have you losing. Um, but the good thing is, 
When you're expected to do so low and mostly everybody has got you counted out, the only thing you can do is rise. Um, I was one of the first people to blog on Don Marino when he battled against Chess, uh, you know, in the one round of joint that he had on um, Gates of the Garden. I thought he had a dope style. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was punching. I, th I seen the Mexican bars. He started to. He, he, but even against when he battled against uh, Marv One, he did good in that battle. I don't like some of the opponents that he's had. I will say that I don't like some of the names when he moves up to started moving up to names. I didn't like him battling against Pass. I didn't like him battling against Marv One. Like those type of battles, like it's just it is it, beyond me. Like that's not gonna really help his career or his stock. So if he would have had more like URL type opponents, it might have helped build him a little bit more. But he had some battles against motherfuckers that people really didn't care about. So um Daylight even comments on the situation because I told y'all, I told y'all, y'all still with me, y'all still with me. He said uh URL puts out the um, pro promo joint, uh, Rum Nitty vs. Don Marino, Rookies vs. Vets, watch for free, Saturday the 9th uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, watch for free, the caffeine joint, only on the URL, you know that shit. And they like jump right in the comments on the URL post and say, yep, we never battling now, SMH. Basically shooting down the notion that he's never going to battle Rum Nitty because Rum Nitty is taking the subsidiary type of battles that make people scratch their head. And as I've said this before in other joints, and like I said, this is no disrespect to nobody. Keeping it a whole stack. When you battle certain people, it unattracts other people to you because they don't want the energy that you have off of coming off of other battles. You know what I'm saying? It's like kinetic energy. Motherfuckers be like, nope. No, 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 absolutely not. They don't want no parts of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And while it's crazy because in the battle rap shit, people do duck people. You have seen motherfuckers duck people before. They'll be putting out a name, a list of names. Uh, JC put out like a whole hit list last year and remarkably got nobody on the list. Like, he didn't, he didn't get anybody on the list. You know what I'm saying? Like, which is crazy. He put out like Lux and Mook and Surf and all these names and wound up going his whole year taking about 15, 20 battles and got nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, it is crazy. Like, when you think about it, how do you go a whole year without getting any of those folks? Uh, he wanted, um, oh, he got, uh, he did get one. Wait, 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 wait. I'm bugging. He got Charlie Clips. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got Charlie Clips on the own app 10 months ago. He did get that. But other than that, all of the super, super big names, he didn't get. And I was looking at my phone to see if I remember. You know what I'm saying? I actually recapped that too. So yeah, uh, he did get him. Um, but yeah, y'all y'all jump in the comments. Y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying, what y'all think about uh, Daylight commenting on Rum Nitty taking the Don Marino battle. And basically saying he's never going to battle him again. Uh, I wanted to address something else while I was here. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Um, salute to Math Hoffa, uh, you know, and everything that he's got going on, personally and professionally. Him, in my expert opinion, has taken off. It's one of the biggest shows um, in battle rap. He's got you know big guests there. They do big things, and the numbers are phenomenal. Uh, he's been you know doing his battle thing too. He's been making people you know getting people in their feelings and things like that. And then he's got his music and stuff too. Uh, he was recently arrested uh, in South Beach. <laughs> Bath, you my dog, but he was arrested on live stream. Like I've never seen no shit like this before in my life. He got arrested on a live stream. Uh, he had a bunch, you know, he was out there just, you know, talking his talk and just, uh, the police just rolled up out of nowhere. I don't know if it was a bottle or what they was rolling up on him for. They arrested him on his live stream, but it's, it's good that he's back free now and, you know, hopefully doing this thing. I liked him when I seen him on Drink Champs those times and things like that. But, uh, he got into, he had an interview with 15 Minutes of Fame and, um, he was refusing his nomination for the uh, Restore Order Awards. Salute to Restore Order, Heavy Bags, and Swave, and um, IP and everything that they do over there. They keep it a whole stack when they do their things. It's live, it's dope, and they do what they do. They have a Restore Order Awards show. 
And Mav Hoffa was saying, why wasn't I nominated? He felt it was disrespectful that I wasn't nominated. Why wasn't Vada nominated? I don't know. I didn't put it together. All I'm saying is, you know, and I, I thought about it, I would have said, yo, why all that Vada? If Vada was on there, I'm sure I hope he would be honored to be a part of that. Well, I actually was or am. Win or lose. So we won't, we could do this all day. I See, would that's just the real question say, right there. Why was Vada left out of that? There you go. Heavy bags, etc. I don't do this for awards, you know what I'm saying? Like this is not, I don't do the battle rap media shit for awards. Somebody who's been doing it for years. I just picked this thing up. Right. I just picked this thing up like a year and a half ago. It's a total disrespect. Oh, now it's somebody <laughs> like Vada he just has been just out here. The whole hold, on, hold on, hold on. It's a total disrespect that somebody like Vada who's been doing this thing for years. I know the politics involved with battle rap. I know people gonna like you, people not gonna like you, et cetera, et cetera. I know that we we, we dance the fine line when we talk about shit, whether it's with leagues, whether it's with battlers. I know that, me, Showtime SP, I know that if URL's doing good, we are gonna do good, we are gonna talk about them good. If URL's not doing good or if they do some bullshit, we are gonna talk about that too. And I know that that rubs people the wrong way at times. Trust me, I do, but I don't really give a fuck. So that's what we do. And I know that we're not always seen in like the the greatest regards, you know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. Some people they be like, oh shit, here they go hating again. Oh there I go hating again. But um I will say this, I appreciate Mav Hoffa for stepping up, you know what I'm saying, and making that claim, like why was I not involved? Why is my name not on it? But it is. But like I told um you guys earlier, it's not, I don't do this for that, you know what I'm saying? Like I do this for the people that watch, the people that um will be the ones that just, you know, hit us up on the live streams or hit us up on the, on Twitter and things like that. The people who buy the merchandise that y'all want to know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened, folks. The, all of those guys, those are the ones that we do this shit for. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my people. Showtime SP is taken care of. You know what I'm saying? And we good. Like, I just like the small contingent. I mean, it is large. You know, I, always, I say small. But I just like the unity of what we have in our media shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not co-signed by no league. We're not fucking holding hands with no URL. We don't do that shit. We don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the event is not good, we're gonna say it's not good. If the event was amazing, we're gonna say it was amazing. We call that shit down the line. And our thing is the recaps and the breakdowns. Like, that's what we do. If you wanna make an award for the best breakdowns, the best recaps, get that shit to Showtime SP and myself. We do that. But everything else, is all is all political because you're gonna have people that watch certain people and people that don't like you'll be like okay uh, a gang of people will watch this person but they won't watch that person or another gang of people will watch this this and this but they don't like that it's all up to you whatever you like is what you watch and i totally appreciate man for jumping out there but my guy i definitely was uh nominated um I don't care if I win, I don't need to win. That doesn't validate what I do here. 30 million views validates what we do. Almost 70,000 subscribers validates what we do. Showtime SP getting regard, getting put in high regard. Matter of fact, Showtime SP was in the Math Hoffa article on um, allhiphop.com. It said, while streaming live with three, black, three battle fans, one who looks remarkably like that one of the culture's leading sports analysts, Showtime SP, to nobody that knows bodies, the officers in bulletproof vests restrain the Kings County resident. Like, Showtime SP was in the Math Hoffa article. M watching him elevate and rise and do what he do, that's what's payment for me. That's what means the most to me. He's probably going to be on the bar exam soon, Showtime SP. He's been wanting to do that for a while. I've seen him and Uncle Rod talking about it. Like, seeing him become bigger and bigger, that's that's the type of shit that's here for me. I'm the old head. I've been around for a minute and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing in the next year. You already know what it is. Motherfucking game.